Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Recha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those Laakim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Along to Israelite foreigner brothers that are like the heathens, but the line of the false side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So, this is Brother Yakal, a mob lesson, and on today's lesson will be entitled A Faithful Man Who Can Find. You know, I'm just going to go on some precepts, and I'm both willing, you brothers and you for sisters out there. Be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because it's very soon, it's going to get very, very bad in America, man, very soon. You know, when Jacob's show will finally be in full effect, you know, when there's a lack of food and water in the storehouse, which is a famine. You know, when there's a lot of race wars, a lot of crime, you know, a lot of rioting and looting, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, women getting raped. You know, and it's going to be a lot of people in these times, you know, that's not in the truth. The two-thirds of our people in these heathens that's of the world, you know, they're going to be faithless, you know. But the only one that's going to have, the only ones that's going to have the faith are the elect men of Israel in this truth, you know. And um, but I just want to start off in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 6. And it reads, most men will will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. That's right, man. So, you know, a faithful man in the Lord, that's very rare to come across, man. You know, because remember, you know, in Second Edge of five one it says it says this. Second Edge of five and one, nevertheless as coming the tokens which tokens mean signs. Behold, the days shall come, that day which dwell upon upon earth, which the day are the two thirds of Israel, the wicked Israelites and the heathens, um, which dwell upon earth, shall be taken in a great number. Yeah, because they're going to be, uh, the Lord's going to destroy them by way of nuclear destruction. You know, when the ice bear ministers come to destroy America, Babylon the Great, and by way of, uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, the laser beams coming out the chariots of Israel, you know, it says, which are the so-called UFOs, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith, right? So very soon, this land, America, Babylon the Great, is going to be barren of faith, you know, because the way of truth is going to be hidden, you know, because the Lord's going to withdraw his prophets from off the highways and byways, and the Lord's going to bring a famine of the word, you know, and the people are going to be wandering and searching for answers, but they're not going to find it, man, you know, and let's go to Isaiah 24. The only one that's going to know the answers, which, you know, which are the uh, prophecies of why all these things are going on is the elect man of Israel. Uh, this is Isaiah 24 and um, verse 11. It reads, there is a crying for wine in the streets now. And wine, in the context of this scripture, is not talking about the actual wine that you drink. You know, it's talking about the truth. You know, it said, there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is dark. And yes, you see, that's the thing. The Lord's going to darken all this joy out here, man. This mirth, you know, this hot girl summer spirit, you know, this all this folly I said in great dignity, man. The Lord's going to darken all that. You know, the mirth of the land is gone. Yeah. Because when Jacob's trouble fully come to effect, all this mirth, this bread and circus, this, this entertainment, this sports, you know, the movies, the TV shows, you know, your get-togethers, your parties, your bonfires, all that is, all that uh, represents mirth. All that is going to be gone, man, when Jacob's trouble finally come. You know, reality is going to set in for everybody, man. And us in this truth, we already accept the reality, man. We already know that this is not our rest. This is not how you're supposed to live your life, man. 
you know, and, and, and the wickedness and darkness and uh, and not acknowledging Yahweh Bashmo Shah, this is not how we're supposed to live. You see? It says, And the city is left desolation, in which that city is Babylon the Great, that great city, you know, which is America. And the gate is smitten with destruction. The gate represents the leadership, you know, because all the leadership of you know, of our of our people of our people, the Jesse Jacksons, the uh, you know, T D Jakes, the Louis Farrakhan, the you know, all these affluent, you know, prominent figures amongst the black community, amongst our people, and you know, the Latin community, all the tribes, you know, community, these high leaders, prominent leaders, they're gonna be smitten with destruction, man. You know? So Everything is going to be, um, all the mirth is going, is going to cease it, man. You know, and very soon people are going to want answers to why all this is happening. But not knowing the Lord's bringing upon the world, uh, bringing the destruction upon the world for their evil. As it says in Isaiah 13, in verse, uh, let me see, yep, verse 11. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil, you know, and the wicked for their iniquity, right, which is sin upon sin. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, which is these Edomites, man. You know, see, the Lord's going to break the pride of all you Edomites, you know, beginning with the Elisa Esau, man, to the average Joe, small, uh, Joe small, smoking pack, cigarette Edomites, man. You know, but this is why the Lord is bringing all this destruction is for their evil, their iniquity, man. The bloodshed that was shed upon this land. You know, for the, the controversy for the nation of Israel, man. You know, it says, I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, which is the Edomites, the terrible of the Edomites. So the Lord's going to do that when this place be destroyed by the missiles, you know. The Lord's going to bring low you devils, man, you Edomites, but also have you in captivity too. Because at least Esau, you're going to be the first fruits of slaves in the kingdom. You know, but not to deviate from the top of the lesson, you know, slack you. Um, but, you know, a faithful man, you know, who can find, you see? Because Apostle Paul said, all men have not the faith, man. You know, and... By us knowing these, this, this, this knowledge, this, the true knowledge of the Bible, the prophecies and stuff, it puts us on a very, very high level amongst all these people that's in the world, man. You know, and not saying that, you know, but holy than now, but hey, the Lord, you know, set a difference between the profane and the holy. These people of the world, they're profane, and with us in the truth, we're holy meaning separate, you know, being separate from the ways of this world. From black culture, Hispanic culture, and American culture, from all the wisdom of this world, man, this feminine spirit. You know, we're separated from all that by way of repentance. You know, hence why we're not of the world. So the Lord put us up on level to know the things was about to come, which are the prophecies before they come. You know, and we go to Luke 18, I mean, uh, second, second Thessalonians 3 and 2. It says, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. Yes, so even Apostle Paul said, all men have not faith, man. You know, because faith is one of the fruits of the Spirit. You know, the fruit represents your deeds or your actions. You know, uh, the fruits of the Spirit, you know, represents the godly conduct or your manner or mannerisms that an Israelite man does once he repents and convert to the faith, you know, as opposed to the, you know, living out of the flesh, you know, as the scripture say in the New Testament, which is you living after your sinful nature, you know, doing what's pleasing unto your flesh, you know, uh, you know, your sinful nature, see? So, you know, Isaiah 33 and 6, because this is what's going to keep us strong in our day, having this truth. 
and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, right? Stability is from the Hebrew word Amawana, which means your faith. So having this knowledge and understanding the Bible is going to be our faith, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be, it's going to keep it strong, man. Unto his Lord, it's the Lord I keep it strong, but uh, the Lord keeps it strong by knowing, by telling us the prophecies that wants to come. So it could be able to fortify our minds, well, for the Lord to fortify our minds so we can be strong and to be able to withstand Jacob's trouble. You see? It says, in strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. Right, man? And that's the thing. People don't fear the Lord. You know, fear goes, on the definition of fear is respect. And a lot of people don't respect the Lord due to not keeping the laws of the commandments at all. You know, not reverencing his name, not exalting his name, not keeping the high holy days, you know. You know, there's there's no fear in our people in two-thirds of, of Israel, man. You know, and it's needed, man. Judgment is needed here, man, because our people are revolted and gone, as the scriptures say, man. They, they're, they're, they just, they're too far gone, man. You know, so the only remedy for to touch by people is death because they heard the word but they're not going to repent because ultimately the Lord put the spirit of the spirit on them to be blinded for them not for them for the two thirds for them for not for them to not receive the truth you know so he can be justified in destroying them you know so um let's end off on one last precept and it's like I know that you know, lesson will segue into something else, but, you know, uh, it's the spirit, you know. But this is Luke 18 and 8. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them that speedily. Yeah, the Lord is going to avenge his elect that cry day and night unto him, you know. Watch well, verse 7. It says, Shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Yeah, so... Yahweh about small shot is gonna avenge his elect, man. All these people that have done this low only part of the elect, the hopeful elect, all the people that have done us wrong in the past and doing us wrong right now, the Lord's gonna avenge us, uh, avenge us of them, man. You know, that right, righteous recompense. You know, as the Apostle Paul said, it's a righteous thing uh to recompense those that trouble you. You see, recompense means to pay back. You know, it says, verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Right? And the answer to that question is yes, because the elect is going to have the faith of the Lord, you know, and they're going to have that faith all the way to the end, you know, because they're going to be waiting on, on the Lord to come back. You see? So the elect will have the faith. There will be faith found on the earth by way of the elect man of Israel, you know, that's, you know, hasten to be loose and looking for their king, Yahweh Shai, you know, to, to reign on earth and to put all these heathens in captivity and slavery and to, you know, for the, the earth to be back in paradise again as it was in the beginning, you know, the, 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 the real great reset, man. You know, <laughs> you know, so yeah, I can, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to make a good lesson on that. Lower Aqua Zeta 5, and until next time, shout out more.